super early start. Yeah, really good start. So let's see what happens. Andretti United getting good traction on the left-hand side. Rosberg X racing nowhere, and Axiotis Sainz is coming through the middle. Look at this. They're going to slingshot round to the right. At the moment, it's the Sands. Money's dropping back into third. Arlen Kotlinski right up the back of the Sainz and Axiona Sainz car. Good move by Munning, she held back, didn't she? Looked to go on the inside line. I think they've had a problem. They've gone, so, they've gone slowly in the background. Katie Munnings is off the side of the track. So problem for Katie Munnings. What's happened to that machine, the Genesis Andretti United car? This is Katie. So watch what happens to Katie. She's, yeah, runs up high on the banking now. She, I reckon she may be looking for the wipers at that point. Then she ends up off the track on the inside. This is the onboard. So here she is on board. Watch now as they go through the puddle at the bottom of this dip. Oh, oh wow. awful. So where are the wipe? Where's her hands? Where are her hands? Oh, and she gets it all crossed up, but definitely down for 30. Well held, Lyra Sands couldn't have been any later than that. Checks her mirrors, Jenny, both of them there to see where RXR are, and it's pretty much a, a half second between them. So let's go mm. back into the switch bay then. Problems for Katie Munnings out there. Let's see what Timmy can do. Car's going into drive now, and just look how tight that is between those two cars. It looked like Science managed to... They've switched position. RXR have got them in the switch zone. Rosberg X Racing gets away first, then it's Carlos Science chasing down Christopherson and Timmy Hansen behind them. Wow, if, if, that if you, was a big one. A, yeah, huge jump by Christopherson, but if, if you know that, here comes Carlos Science and the, the gap... And OK, says so the gap has come down a little bit. Genesis Andretti United's Timmy Hansen flies over the start-finish line. And Christopherson is gapping Sainz, and that means now that the gap is less than six seconds. So Johan Christopherson, Michaela Arlen Kotlinski, they can take the title here. They're putting themselves through to the final now. RXR are going to go through. Our Andretti United going to deny Axiona Sainz right at the finish line. Here comes RXR over the jump now. Christopherson, Arlen Kotlinski, championship hopes alive. And Carlos Sainz holds on for Axiona Sainz by the slimmest of margins. Oh, Genesis Andretti United's Timmy Hansen with a gigantic jump over the finish line, but it is not quite enough. Three tenths of a second, Carlos Sainz has kept his and Laia Sanz's championship hopes alive by. This is Timmy Hansen now, look, coming up behind Carlos Sainz. His visibility is terrible, but he knows he only needs one thing, the red car. Come on, I'm going to try and get him. Huge oh. jump over the line and not quite. I'll tell you what, he's lucky not to collect Carlos over the line. Here it is, look, from the outside. Absolute monster. Three tenths of a second, Jenny. Uh, give him another lap. Come on, I would like to have seen the fight go on. It, that was mega. Katie's so disappointed. They were so close. Oh, uh, she's gutted and she had it, that the first corner thing, Jenny, is just rubbish luck. She didn't. Oh, bless her. She's you can see she's emotional and she knows. Uh, right. 6.79 seconds behind. It was third place, Andretti United. Axiona Sainz, 6.43. Just look at the difference of that. So close. And then our winners going through, the first two going through, it's Arlen Kotlinski and Christopherson for RXR. Can Anderson deny Price or Gutierrez on the run to the first corner? She's done plenty of rally crosses. She won't mind getting her elbows out here. We know how wet those first corners were. Sarah Price moves across immediately on Gutierrez and he's out front of Gutierrez. So Price now can get that car in from the outside, but up the inside line, Gutierrez is going to go inside into turn one. I thought Sarah Price would have a nice line. Whereabouts is Anderson? Anderson trying to come round the outside. So it's Gutierrez leads. Anderson does get up the inside of Sarah Price. Sarah Price high on the banking now. Oh, she's gone all the way around the outside. So Sarah Price has held onto that position in the background. Still just in front, she's just in front of Clara Anderson. So Anderson P3, Price P2, and Gutierrez is the leader. She's got the inside line now as well, so a little bit of an advantage. Can Clara come back in and take the shorter run? She's going to try it again. Done oh, it. Price does a little wiggle. She loses a bit of control, and Anderson manages to go through. This is disastrous for Chip Ganassi Racing. They need to finish in the top two to go through to the final and keep this championship challenge alive for them. Coming around on Sarah Price, you can just see tees it up there. Price goes a little wide, takes a wiggle, and on the inside line, Anderson gets through that is the deal done super late on the brakes Gutierrez wow. remember all locked up you can see all locked up got to get it down to 30 kilometers an hour in jumps Sebastian Loeb we know how fast he is he's got a lead at the minute of 3.2 seconds on the way into the switch as long as this is clean and assuming Gutierrez yep. didn't speed on the way in oh water chucked over the car you can just see it coming through a little bit not to worry so this is a great tie this is Nasser Alatia, Carla Duke Sebastian Loeb and somehow they've managed to get out first, the App Cooper team. Here comes Kyle LeDuc. He's got to go absolutely maximum attack here if he wants to keep that GMC Hummer EV in the title fight. Loeb can manage that gap. That doesn't matter. What matters for
for, for Alatia. Look at that sideways down the slope with Kyle Leduc chasing down Alatia. Look at Leduc, he's going for it. He had to turn out there, Jenny pitched it in early. I think he thought he was going to catch the waypoint flat, just flung the car out a little bit. Look, he is absolutely using every single inch of this track. And the gap now is just over two seconds. It looks like it will be X44 here. Leduc using his hyperdrive to try and claw that place back, but it looks like it's too little, too late. And Chip Ganassi Racing are out. They have not got through to the final of this, and that means they will not be able to win this championship. They cannot fight or battle with Rosberg X Racing. Well, fantastic performance there. P3, unlucky for Sarah Price and Kyle Leduc. The Hummer EV for Chip Ganassi Racing not going through, and that's their championship hopes over unfortunately p2 clara anderson with an amazing drive and her teammate nasser alatia bringing it home for at cupra and gutierrez and Loeb going through for x44 vida carbon oh really great reaction time on the inside from christine gz got a brilliant start tomorrow molinaro went backwards but it's emma gilmore who surges into the lead for neil mclaren xc kevin hansen going to try and go with her can christine gz go late enough on the brakes up into the first corner it's emma gilmore on the inside line looking like she's going to get the whole shot kevin hansen tries to go around the outside sideways for jbxc looks to the inside line don't want to knock that flag down like Loeb did emma gilmore runs a little bit wide kevin hansen trying to get alongside side by side over the jump hansen passes on the inside as they team that up from the final corner on one wheel over the jump in the background as well didn't even see whether it was veloce or excite energy racing but kevin hansen takes the lead yeah there's mclaren colors in the sunshine look absolutely resplendent oh a little bit of the correction down. needed for kevin he literally went a little bit wide but at the same time emma took a flag down no no, no there's no. a flag at the bottom of the hill i didn't know if kevin ah. had hit it so some uh, no dropped flag waypoint 13 42 42 previous lap it, it would excite have been energy so it would have been previous and yeah previous round look at those two battling it out as well christine gz really fighting it looks like she might get through on the inside can she do it she's pushing she's pushing she can't quite make it stick this time round this is uh, looking back at tomorrow Molinaro and you're on board with Christine GZ look at the rocks fly Whoa. oh my goodness <laughs> me what a save by Molinaro Wowzers, our newbies this weekend are really having to show their metal, aren't they? Molinari doing a great job, Clara Anderson, before. Just look at the concentration. This is Hedda Hossas. So four seconds is the gap. Can Faust close that down for Neil McLaren, Extreme E, and get past the JBXE of Hedda Hossas? She was impressive last time out. 3.1 now, takes another two tenths sideways over the crest, 2.89. He's absolutely hunting Hazaz down here. He's going to close the gap off. Big moment over the crest. Got two sideways, Jenny, and gave up the two seconds that she had. So they're still not through. Faust looks to the inside line now. Going to flick the car back on the exit of this one. Side by side, the Neil McLaren Extremey, I think, going to take the lead over this jump. He's got the inside. Oh! Contact. Oh, Hazaz goes round. Faust going off to the side of the cross, too. Where's the McLaren? Has he kept it on? He spun all the way round. Has he, he missed? missed a waypoint? He's missed a waypoint. This is the collision that happened. Uh, they're just on different lines. I mean, Faust then ends up going wide, like a missing a waypoint. Now, Jenny, normally it's, I think it's, is it five or 10 for missing, but then it's also, was there an advantage gain? There definitely wasn't because he's gone wider. Here, here it is again. So Faust's tearing her up. Look, she's sideways as she comes up to the jump. Now they're both straight, but on a similar trajectory. Over the jump, look, they land just end up into each other. I can't call that, I really can't, and I'm not convinced the stewards won't just say racing incident. It's Faust versus Scheider for one last place in the final. Who's going to get it? We know there are penalties coming in, so it's going to take a little bit of working out, but who crosses the line first? That's the most important thing. And at the moment, it looks like it's Faust that's going to keep ahead of Scheider. There's two seconds in it. Can they close the gap in time? We've seen some brilliant finishes here, taking so much energy across that finishing line. How much is the gap as they come round towards the final it's going to be faust that goes through for mclaren they go through to the final of this and unfortunately for excite it was a little too late for them to get through but congratulations tanner faust emma gilmore getting that neon mclaren through to the final in one of the craziest races and here you can see jbxc wowzers results then of the crazy race absolutely fantastic racing 
Keezy and Lance Woolridge with a broken car, dragging it over the line. Unfortunate Hozas with a brilliant fight with Faust, but the contact over the jump meant that she uh, ended up finishing P3 with her partner, Kevin Hansen. Scheider and Molinaro get second place. They downed a flag earlier on in the race, and then Faust and Gilmore with the win for Neon McLaren Extreme E. We're missing a car at the moment, and it is our championship leaders, our reigning champions, RXR. Oh, look oh, at them! they're still in the paddock! Wow. This is a disaster! They definitely won't be getting the extra points. Here's a replay. Christophson in the car. Pulls the comms lead and gets out. The reigning champion getting out of the championship winning car. So that is the grid, as you can see. So going from left to right, you can see Axiona Sainz there. Then it's the Hummer EV Chip Ganassi racing car. Then it's the X44 Vida Carbon racing. We go along at Cupra and then Neon McLaren and all the men taking the first stint. And we are green. We are on the charge in Chile as five cars race towards the first turn you can see on this side of the track Ab Cooper seems to have got a really good start then next to them it's the McLaren team and Axiona signs in third but X44 just muscling them out a little bit this is going to be really tight around the first turn you can see them all taking the same line and wow X44 muscle their way through so at the moment it's X44 leading the way Axiona signs on the inside trying to get past that Cooper and they managed to do it I think unbelievable start oh and up the inside again Ab Cooper and nudges Axiona signs wide, Nasser Alatia making the pass, Faust now on the inside, pushes the Neil McLaren car on the inside line as well, four cars battling so hard here, out front though Sebastian Loeb has broken away and has a pretty big advantage by the standards of these finals, Sainz dropped back into P4, wow! Well it doesn't look like it's a wet course either, I don't think they've doubted it, oh no we've got a spin, a spin there oh. for the Chip Ganassi racing, the waypoint flag is down, they'll get a penalty for that but they are pushing and they've got into third, it looks like this on the rear left for the Al Cooper team. Have they got a puncture? Have they pushed the tyre off the rim? So flag hit. This was uh, Kyle LeDuc hitting the flag on the inside line, fully ripping that out. The bodywork flapping around, and look, there are four of them in close procession. Another flag down. Was that the McLaren took that took that it down? down? Yeah, I didn't see. That was very hard to tell from that angle which car took it down. Look, Faust is closing the gap. Can he go for the pass on Loeb? Faust has had an incredible sector. He is really pushing. Remember, he was the fastest in every sector going through to this, and he wants it so much. He's trying to do all he can to give Emma Gilmore, who has been in spectacular form this week, the advantage, look at them going almost over at the same time. What is Faust finding this pace from? Faust going to try and come down now, runs low wide, looks up the inside line. He's still fully chilled as Tanner Faust takes the lead with a big sideways moment. Going off now to the right-hand side, down to the switch zone. Tanner Faust brings the Neil McLaren Extreme e car into the lead, into the switch zone. Emma Gilmore there. She'll hopefully take the lead again in that Neil McLaren. And Clara Anderson, remember, she's in the fourth car and will be handed to Leia Sands, who's been in great form as well. So this is the fight, two laps to go. Gutierrez has gone hyperdrive, Jenny, sorry to interrupt, and she's gone straight past Gilmore. Emma Gilmore is right behind Gutierrez. Oh, get now, Gutierrez has hit a flag. Wow, well, they've all got penalties. Hit, she's hit waypoint 13, so this would mean that these both these cars were racing for the win. Now watch Gutierrez. Actually tapped it, but did it go down enough? Because there's a rule, isn't there, about did you take it down or did you just touch it? Gilmore makes a pass on Gutierrez. Gutierrez goes out wide. She'll look for the car back on the run down to the finish line. Gilmore leads as they come down to the last couple of sectors. Sector 20, 19, 20 in the finish coming up now. This has been absolute carnage. Oh, Sarah Price right behind her. Lyle Sands is right on the back bumper. And they could be up for the win with the penalties over the line. Gilmore takes it from McLaren. X44 P2, but we think they're both getting a penalty. Hang on, no. Which would mean that Price and Ledoux would win. They're coming over the, over the jump, and it looks like it will be no time penalty for X44. So they've changed their mind. They say no time penalty for X44. That's just popped up. But these are your winners, the X44 Vida Carbon Racing Team. They're not sure. So our winners with their champion trophies up there. We thought it might be RXR taking the win in the championship. That's not happened. X44 have got the fight back. They all have their own way. They all work so hard. It's been dry and dusty, hot and cold out in Chile. And uh, finally, a, a sticky champagne shower. So you end up covered in dust by the end of the day. But what a result.